With summer here, more people are heading outside and that means more bicyclists are on the road. Last year alone, we saw seven cyclists killed and 61 hurt just here in Indianapolis. So tonight, the cycling community came together calling for change. I think you ride your bike long enough out on the roads, you're bound to deal with uh, a scary situation or two. Scott Helvey says close calls on the roads are a regular occurrence for many cyclists. And for some, there's nothing close about it, with cyclists getting hit and seriously hurt, sometimes even killed. Unfortunately, they've become more common uh, over the past few years than they than they used to be as the roadways get more congested and people are more distracted. Wednesday evening, dozens of cyclists came together for the annual ride of silence. It's a slow, silent ride honoring those who've been hurt or killed out on the roads. For many, this year's ride feels personal. Remembering cyclist Frank Radiker, who was hit and killed on his way to work near the Monon Trail this past October. It's not something that we commonly talk about, but it, you know, it's something that happens more often than it should. In Indiana, a safe passing law requires drivers give bikers out on the roads at least three feet of clearance while passing. But many drivers on the road know that doesn't always happen. Helvey says it should. Just giving three feet of space uh, to cyclists as you pass will help more than anything uh, and just give us a little bit of time. As they ride to honor those who've been hurt or killed while cycling, they're asking drivers to look out for bikers and to share the road. We just want uh, the city to be safer for people to connect to where they want to go um, regardless of how they want to do that.